Hey, Pastor Scott here with another hymn story. I chose this one because it was one of my mom's favorites and Mother's Day is coming up. Uh, this is It Is Well With My Soul by Horatio G. Spafford. When peace like a river attendeth my way when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul, it is well. my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. My sin, oh the bliss of this glorious thought. My sin, not in part, but the whole, is nailed And I bear it no more. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, O oh my soul. It is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. And Lord, when my faith shall be sight, the clouds be rolled back as a scroll. The trump shall resound, and the Lord shall descend. Even so, it is well with my soul. Amen. As I mentioned, that hymn was written by Horatio G. Spafford. Uh, he was a pres Presbyterian uh, layman from Chicago, uh, originally uh, born and raised in New York. Um, but in October 20th of 20, oh, excuse me, he was born October uh, 20th, 1828, and uh, was at established a successful law practice actually in Chicago where he was married and had four children. Along with his financial success, he'd always uh, found uh, a strong attraction to, to the church, to Christianity, and to Christ. He was good friends with D.L. Moody and followed his ministry and helped him out whenever he could. Uh, some months prior to the Great Fire of Chicago in 1871, Spafford had invested some money in some real estate along the shore of Lake Michigan, and that was completely destroyed in the fire, uh, the Great Fire of Chicago, uh, again, 1871. So after that um, event, he had made a decision for he and his family to kind of regroup, maybe go on a little vacation, uh, kind of get their bearings straight again. And so he booked a trip for he and his wife and his four daughters to go to England. Uh, now, right before they were to leave on this ship, uh, something came up, a business matter came up, and Horatio Spafford stayed behind. His wife and four daughters boarded the boat uh, for England. Unfortunately, tragically, that boat uh, struck another vessel at sea and sunk. Uh, several days later, uh, Spafford, uh, Horatio Spafford received a telegraph from his wife, which simply said, uh, I survive alone. Uh, not long after that, Horatio uh, boarded another boat to join his wife in England. It's believed that uh, just over the place where the previous boat had sunk, that he penned those words, uh, the sorrows, my sorrows, when sorrows like sea billows roll. And that 
is one of the key lines of this hymn. Remarkably, uh, Spafford's hymn does not dwell on the theme of life's sorrows and trials, but focuses his attention on the vic victorious Christian life, that is, victory in Christ Jesus, the redemptive work of Christ, and in that fourth and final stanza, uh, the glorious return of Christ. Uh, what a remarkable testimony of a man who had every reason to be angry and curse at God, and though he's he suffered and he struggled and he, I'm sure he wrestled with his grief. He was able to pen those words, whatever life may bring me, whatever the, whatever sorrows that, that, uh, that come my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, he says, it is well, it is well with my soul. Um, Spafford later on in 1881 with his wife and now two young children started his family again, um, moved to Jerusalem where he settled there and he and his family established an American colony which cared for the sick and destitute. Uh, so he went from uh, wealthy financial um, entrepreneur and, and, and uh, lawyer to a missionary serving in Jerusalem. So what an incredible testimony um, of uh, a man who loved God even in the midst of deep, deep, deep sorrow. God bless and have a great week.